Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, Skeeter Jones Things. I'm Misty, and in this video, I will be showing you rings and earrings that I currently have listed on eBay. Um, if you uh, want to see any of these, you can visit my eBay store, and you can see detailed listings on these, and I do give discounted prices to my viewers and subscribers. Just let me know. Uh, contact me through... Um, through eBay to let me know that you saw it on the video and tell me the name of the video and uh, then I'll be able to offer you discounted pricing there. This is going to be rings and earrings so let's jump right in with uh, actually you would have seen this very recently in my thread up 15 piece unboxing um, just some Ann Taylor earrings these are about two inches long silver tone hoops and those are now listed on eBay and uh, just so you know where I get my pricing from is I check uh, comps to see uh, what similar things are currently listed for and then also what they are selling for and I make my prices uh, in line uh, with, uh, with what the market is generally doing on a certain item. These are very interesting. I have two of these. An orange one, or actually the packaging is orange. The ring I believe is pink. And they are Kurt Geiger, and uh, they're not meant to be worn like all the way down on your finger. It's a nail ring, which is intended to go like this. And that is how you wear that. And let's see if I can adjust my light a little bit. It is, there it is. It's a pink stone. It's very sparkly. Um, I don't know if that is a Swarovski, if it's a crystal. Um, they are brand new with tags and they retailed for 38. I know I have them listed lower than that on, uh, on eBay, but uh, besides that low pricing, I will also uh, give an even lower price to uh, viewers and subscribers. And these come with all of the, the tags, all of the packaging, and the little, um, the little drawstring bag. That's the pink one. And here is the yellow one as I'm sending packaging flying around. Oh, here's what the bag looks like. That's really close. That might be a little better. And here is the yellow one. These, uh, again, just fit on your fingertip. It's a nail ring. It has this gold tone part under it. Are you going to focus? And then the stone, little crystal -y stone, is right there on top. And... Again, this one is also 38, brand new with tags and all the packaging. Maybe I need to get another phone or a camera. I've been having a lot of trouble focusing these videos of late, but there is that, another nail ring, Kurt Geiger. Uh, they retailed originally for 38. They come with all the tags, all the packaging, the little, the little card, and the little gift bag, and everything. The price, again, is uh, lower than 38 in my listings, and um, I will discount further for my YouTube viewers and subscribers. If you just contact me um, when, you, when you're looking on eBay, send me a message in there letting me know that you saw it here on YouTube. Uh, you would have seen these already also if you've seen my thread up 15 piece unboxing and these are the, and I have a short about these two, uh, Astrid uh, knotted tassel earrings by Mooney. Um, I cannot remember the first name but the designer's last name is Mooney and uh, these are just some really nice uh, new condition tassel earrings and those are now currently listed as well. I would encourage you to read my uh, eBay 
uh, seller feedback that will tell you a lot, or not just mine, but anybody's that you're con uh, considering buying from on eBay. Make sure you read their feedback. That can tell you a lot about what to expect from uh, your experience with that seller. Here's some cloisonne earrings that are listed. They are um, about two inches long. Gold tone with a red and gold blue and green floral pattern. Looks like zooming in pretty close helps resolve the focus issues. Okay, here is a crucifix ring. I know that this one is gold. And let's see, I can't remember what carat of gold. Ten K? Yes, ten K. There it is. Okay, also currently in eBay listings. Here's what that looks like on And the size is, as you can see, it was on my pinky, so it's pretty small. Uh, it is a five crucifix ring. These are some alpaca, stamped alpaca with mother of pearl earrings. These are really cute. About uh, two inches long, stamped alpaca Mexico that's upside down but alpaca Mexico I have a few uh, alpaca pieces I got those actually in the same lot with the um, bolo necklace that I showed in another video or men's bolo tie um, it could be worn as either but there's um, a carnelian or halite. Uh, I think because of that, the way that matrix looks, I decided that might be halite. I'll research that further if anyone is interested. Just let me know in the comments. But back to the rings. Rings and earrings. Um, here is a sterling ring with a crystal, heart-shaped crystal. My nails look terrible to be showing rings, so I apologize for that. It is stamped somewhere in here, 925, I believe, and I have tested it. Um, no, I do not see the stamp, but this one has been tested, and it is sterling. Um, and I can show, I can test that on video and post that if anyone is interested. Just let me know in the comments. And the size on this is... Just a little more than a seven. Well, right at a seven. I would call it a seven. All of these are currently listed uh, on my eBay page. And there's a link to that page in my YouTube profile. These little filigree gold earrings. They're really pretty. They're very delicate. You can see how, how thin they are. And um, maybe arabesque. I don't really know what you would call that design. But they are large. These are about three inches long, about two inches wide. Lightweight gold tone. These are not gold. They're gold tone earrings. Okay, and moving along. Oh, these are Avon. Avon screwbacks, which I believe are vintage. No, not screwbacks. They're these lever, lever clips. And let's see, there's your Avon mark. Right there. 
and there are these fuchsia colored little stones these will open work butterflies a little dangly on the bottom avon butterfly earrings These are, I don't know if this would be cloisonne or, or what this would be. Uh, they look kind of um, Victorian to me. Maybe hand-painted uh, ceramic cabochons. But they are gold tone. They are uh, just over an inch in length. This reminds me of the 1928 swirly design. Um, and these have a 1928 type of look to them, but they are not stamped anywhere, so um, I'm just going to call them unbranded. And uh, there those are. They're really, really pretty, very feminine and delicate. Um, and I'm not sure if that's hand painted or not. I don't see the little dots that would tell me that it's screen printed. So they might be hand painted. I am not certain of that. I may have researched that at the time I've listed them and that might be in the description in the listing. This, oh, is an Uncas ring. They are very collectible, this brand. Um, it is an American uh, uh, company that has been around for a really long time. I'm not sure if they're still around now but their rings are very collectible. Um, this is Electroplate, um, as most of their rings are. I think it has the HGE for the heavy gold Electroplate. There it is. 18K um, HGE. Yeah, don't let anybody ever fool you. Don't get fooled by that. If you see 18K HGE, that is not solid gold. That is um, 18 karat Electroplate. And in here is the Uncas symbol, their mark. It's a, um, an arrow type of design with a U, a little horseshoe right there. And um, very pretty, open work, floral. It has, to me, a very Art Deco 1920s type look to it. It is, I think, a size five-ish. Um, yeah, just it's, it's just above a five. So not quite five, barely almost a five. We'll say that. It's barely almost a, a thing, I don't know. Um, this is listed as a lot. These are Monet earrings. The cream colored enamel. Oops. Um, about an inch and a half. And where is my Monet mark? There it is. You'll often find Monet um, on earrings around the post right there. And there it is. So it's a lot of these hoops, these Monet hoops, and these Monet hearts. Let's see, where's the Monet marking there? Probably around the post again. Yep, there it is. Okay, and these are small. They are um, about a half inch. These little hearts. So, Monet Lot. Currently in my listings. If you decide to shop anything I have on eBay um, that uh, I have listed here, or that I'm showing here, um, remember to let me know that you saw it here, that you're a viewer or a subscriber to my channel. 
These are genuine Baroque pearls and they are quite large. Um, they are almost an inch long with this uh, druzy. This has, and I'm not sure what the druzy is, this gold has been tested and it actually is gold. I can't remember what carat that might be in the eBay listing. Um, and they are unbranded. I don't remember if the posts were gold or not, but the, um, the edging around the druzy here is. And there's the back. So, oh, and those are pretty long earrings too. They are about two inches, well, from the post all the way down about three inches long. I thought those would go faster than they did. I've had them listed for a little while. I thought uh, those would have gone by now. This is natural stone. These earrings here. And about two inches long. And if you want uh, anything tested, uh, you know, with a presidium or you want any metals tested, let me know and I'll put up a video um, of, I'll test those on video and put those up on a short. Or if I get enough requests for uh, different things, I may just make a, uh, a separate video just testing all the things that people have asked to be tested. Uh, these are Thailand 925. They're in perfect condition. There is the 925 Thailand. And those are really pretty. So here are some, I, think, I believe these are screen printed here. I think I did look really close at the, yeah, see, there's a screen printed. They are, um, I think uh, just plastic or acrylic screen printed clip-ons. Unbranded, I believe. Let's double check that to make sure. Uh, yes, unbranded. A little acrylic kind of, uh, I don't know, cottagey looking. Not quite Victorian, but screen printed floral cabochons. These, a lot of people look at these, but I haven't had any takers on them yet. These are, uh, and I, then there is, uh, there are photographs of the testing on the eBay listing for these. These are emeralds, emeralds and diamonds and white gold. And they are absolutely gorgeous. They're very dainty. You can see um, the size reference there, but they are absolutely gorgeous and in great condition. There is the 10K emeralds and diamonds, and that has been tested on the Presidium. And you can see those, uh, those pictures of that uh, Presidium testing uh, on the eBay listing. These are Weiss, vintage Weiss earrings. This beautiful blue AB, and they are in lovely condition. There's the Weiss stamp there. Oh, there's a little bit. I can clean that off. Weiss AB earrings. They are about an inch across. I have a variety on my uh, on my eBay page. I don't list only jewelry. I have quite a variety 
of things. I just, uh, I just like finding unique things or things I think that might be hard for somebody to come by or things that might be expensive, uh, new and try to or make those available to people. Uh, this is chips in resin, I believe, or chips in clear acrylic alpaca. And they are stamped again, alpaca, Mexico. I'll show you that in just a moment. And uh, they are about two inches long. Alpaca. Really pretty. Okay, um, kind of nearing the end somewhat. These are some serpentine chain earrings that are pretty long. These are pretty darn long. They are about four inches and they just, they're just chains. They move nicely. And uh, they hang down from these posts. They are just silver tone. Well, that one just keeps trying to get away. Those are really pretty. I like finding unique things. Um, you'll find some antiques and things uh, on my page. And just some odd, unusual things. Okay, these are um, Marjorie Bear, I believe. Is that what these are? No, these aren't. But I do have some Marjorie Bear earrings. And uh, they have this kind of brutalist, modernist kind of look to them. These are just silver tone, I believe, with the little dangly beads about three inches long. These little hammered discs with beads. These are Kenneth Cole, I believe. Yes. Hoops that are in nice condition. About two inch hoops. The Closures are in great condition. And those are currently listed. I have some, I don't know, paparazzi. I normally would not even list paparazzi. But, uh, you know, I had a few things. These are some little hippos. But they, they um, articulate, like the little body dangles from the... Uh, from the head and I don't know somehow I ended up with two pairs of those I'm not going to unpackage those there's an empty earring card okay here is a pair of owl earrings open work silver tone and unbranded but they kind of uh I don't know if you'd call that necessarily articulated. The body kind of swings freely and then the tail does. And then they have these little crystal or rhinestone eyes. And those are really cute. Owls were really popular for a time. I don't know if they still are or not. Here are some floral rhinestone earrings. These little flowers that are really pretty. Those might be crystal or just a clear rhinestone. I believe they are unbranded. Let me double check that. Yes, they are unbranded, but really pretty. They're about an inch across. Yeah. Very sparkly, very pretty. Um, here are some Marjorie Bear. This is just brutalist, modernist type look here. 
and uh, these don't have backs. I will put backs on those for whoever buys them. And there, that's about um, two inches, maybe just over an inch and a half, maybe long. That Bayer SF, that is one of her stamps. Um, Marjorie Bayer San Francisco is what that would stand for. And uh, that's another paparazzi, little hammered teardrop shaped hoops. Um, those are about two inches long. These, I believe, are unbranded. These little Tree of Life earrings. And it says Bread of Life. Is that what that says? And then it has this little Tree of Life on it. They are uh, kind of small and dainty. Um, the little thing itself is about a half inch. The little tree uh, dangly on there is about a half inch. And they both have the saying on the back, the little bread of life saying. And the tree on the front. Okay, we're nearing the bottom. I've had a lot of people look at these two online. These are Anne Klein, and it's a matching pair, a sun and moon. I like those uh, because they're they're different from one another, but they're one pair, and they're they're even marked for your left and right Anne Klein, just silver tone, uh, and they look like you know new condition. They look like they've never been worn. Sun and moon earrings. I'm going to uh, do an unboxing. I have a short that shows like my where I have my. Um, oh, this is another pair of those paparazzi teardrops. Um, I have a short where I showed um, where I file away my listings in this uh, box system, this file box system, and I'm going to take one of those and just unbox it because that's where I have a big variety of things, not my jewelry. Uh, these earrings are little faux pearls with rhinestones around them, and they go on your ear like this. Like the This goes through the front, the stud, and then this goes on the back of your ear. And then, so it hangs like this on your ear. You have a pearl above, and then the little flower hangs below from the back. And those are really cute. Very feminine and pretty. So, yeah, one by one, I'm going to go through those boxes where I have my little oddball things filed away and uh, just show you the variety of things I have listed. These are new uh, Nine West Vintage America. They were $24 retail. This is um, actual stone. Not sure if it's uh, if it's turquoise or not, but it is actual stone. Contains natural materials and uh, little rhinestones there on the disco balls. Okay, we're down to our last three items now. Remember, if you're interested in anything, and you go take a look at it in my listings. Make sure you let me know that you saw it here. Here's some uh, Noah's Ark clip-ons. And there is, um, see the maker, and maybe some information about the maker is listed on my listings. AJC. I believe I do have some information about that in the uh, eBay listing. But I like to look up and find out information about the uh, makers of the various things I list and write that information in the description of the listing so I can just share the knowledge as I gain it. Well, Noah's Ark earrings, they are um, about an inch wide, about an inch long. Got the little giraffe couple and, I don't know, is that a mouse couple? Cats, maybe? That, those are cute. 
and I'm avoiding listing. I'm avoiding showing those. I guess I'll just have to because they're about to be the last thing left. But these are fun little casino silver tone earrings with money bags and dice. And I think, yeah, this one's got a slot machine on it and the money bag. So for your casino night fundraiser or a night out at the casino, whatever. Those, oh, and they are, the hoops themselves are about an inch and the hoops with the little danglies is about an inch and a half. And then last but not least is these stretchy earring or stretchy rings that I have here in the bottom. They're abalone um, and some type of maybe resin and little rhinestones. And they are large. I'm not really a large ring person myself, but someone might love these. And they stretch. Retailed for 24 originally. And there those are. So those are my current ring listings on eBay. Rings and earrings. I do have more to list, but those are the ones that I already currently have listed. I really appreciate you joining me. Let me know which ones you like. Let me know which ones you might want more information on or ones that you might want to see tested. Um, and go check out my listings and uh, let me know what you think of that. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.